Hello, welcome to me. Uh, today we're talking about me stories. Me stories are about topics and issues that are real and practical. So it's not that you're just hearing me talk about it, but you're going to hear from somebody else that, you know, yeah, she has a story to tell. So today I have with me Debbie and um, welcome Debbie. We're going, to, we're going to listen to you today. Do you want to tell us about yourself or just, you know? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hi, my name is Tumilayo Fadare and I'm popularly known as Debbie. I'm a mother and um, I'm from Nigeria, Russia State, and um, I relocated to the United Kingdom in the year 2012 and um, since then I've been here and I'm a graduate. Um, I studied business administration mm. back in Nigeria, mm. but when I came into the UK, about let's say 2015 i um went for a course in child care so um ever since then i've been working as a um, child care practitioner and i've been volunteering as well when i met with um margaret parents gives to go yeah so it boosted my um courage you know and since then I've been volunteering with parents skills to go. Thank you, thank yeah. you. So, you know, you said something about, you know, being in the United Kingdom, relocated, that must have been a big challenge for you. So do you want to talk about, tell us about how, how it's been? Because we have people that relocate all the time and it's never a bed of roses, is it? So do you want to tell us about, in terms of your life, your family, your business? Yeah, uh, relocating has been um, quite a tough one, to be sincere. Um, when I relocated down here, I thought it was going to be um, fun, like you presume from the beginning. But when I got here, I met uh, the truth in the face. Um, and um, when I started having kids, it, um, the challenge doubled. You know, as a single mother and coupled with working and trying to put food on your table and your children, it's not something easy in this part of the world because and you have lots of um, um, bills to meet up with and you, you have to keep going, there's no break. So physically it's been stressful and um, emotionally at times it's been draining because at times it's just up and on sometimes you are happy and then sometimes you get a bit emotional and mentally it's been quite uh, a workload because you have to juggle your children with work with whatever you just need to keep moving wow yeah wow that is powerful it's yeah. been you know um you know but you know you do all this you said now with the work and bringing up children you decided to volunteer yeah wow yeah. and that is for me that's massive and a lot of people say but what's the point you've already got something you're you're doing so why did you choose to volunteer with parent schools ago Number one, um, I had always had passion for children. When I was back home in Nigeria, I worked in school. My mom owned a school, so it's been with children all the way. So uh, when I got here, I I believe that that is one of my passion, my dream. So when I saw an opportunity, I counted as an opportunity, you know, to acquire. Um, more skills because it's quite different here in this part of the world is totally different so before you can fit in you have to learn so when i met with parents skills to go i saw that this is an opportunity and i quickly grabbed it and so i started volunteering and i saw that it was quite different i had to learn uh, you know the the way they deal with children here families even in parenting is quite different so when I started volunteering it changed everything about me 
That is yeah. so good. And um, for some of us that might not know, Parent Skills to Go is a community organization. We work with families and children to develop, you know, their skills emotionally, socially, um, and uh, you know, physically. And one of the things we do that Greg, Debbie was saying here is working with children in, during the holiday. We we focus mainly on family learning. So it's not just dumping or put, sending your children to a club. It's about engagement, and um, that is where Debbie came in and started supporting her children. Do you want to tell some of the skills you've gained so far in working with, um, with uh, volunteering rather with Parent Skills to Go? Number one, um, I would say that my confidence is, is <laughs> high up now. Before, I know I have passion for children and working with children, but it's like a shell. You know, so since I started volunteering, my confidence, my self-esteem has been boosted, and then um, also in communication, I have um, improved quite a lot in communication. Yeah, I've seen you that. know, <laughs> the, the fear is not there anymore. You know, I, 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 you know, have this panic, where you know before, you know, when you are um, communicating, but in working with children, parents. Uh, in the uh, what's it called in uh, the centers has given me a lot more confidence to deal with people even dealing with children my own children and also time management is something that has drastically changed in my own personal life and you know when volunteering as we were taught you have to be on point that's 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 the key you know, you don't just do things because, oh, I'm a volunteer. You have to do it as if it's okay. your, yeah. So you have to be on point. If you are the one, you know, taking register, you have to be on time. If you are the one, you know, counting the children or do whatever task you are asked to do, it has to be on time. Wow. So I've learned a lot. During this that is so that is yeah. so good to hear and um, we're going to talk about something else now that you know that has come out of that because you've said something about being a shy person being panicky yeah. and yet you've done you've moved ahead do you want to tell us about your current project yes uh, that project is uh, birth um, from the passion I said I had but because of the fear I had back in those days it's just been shelled down but now that i'm coming out of my shell i decided because i wanted to give back to the community that's the, that's the basic of everything i decided to you know come out of the shell and try to start something it's about giving back to the community encouraging parents and children mm. um, the right way to you know run the family the uh, advice you know from the experience that i have had and has gathered from people around me you know just my own little way mm. to just support and encourage there are so many parents out there going through lots of stuff yeah. that you can't imagine mm. so a little word from you a little word of encouragement a little word of oh you are doing well is it can just make it feel better so it's just about um supporting one another okay yeah that's and that's so what have you done with that with is that the project What's yes that's the ongoing project and it's uh, a debbie's hangout that's what okay. i call it debbie's yeah. hangout, debbie's hangout. So um, it's just where we talk about, you know, the day-to-day -day, um, normal life. Yeah, how we can do better, you know, with our children and ourselves and how we can encourage ourselves as parents that we are not alone in whatever we are doing. Even if you think you are alone, you are not alone. Yeah. Wow, that is so interesting. I, lo I watched it and I said, wow, this is so good. And, you, know, okay. you know, you're learning from the best, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So that's, a, 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 yes. I have to take a bit of credit for that. <laughs> yes. Um, one of the things I noticed is about the way you did it. You, you did it in a different um, dialect or is it Pidgin? Yes. Pidgin English. Pidgin and English. for some of us that might not know, Pigeon is like broken English mm -hmm. and uh, do you want to tell us why you did it in Pigeon? Yeah, I just um, think I should be different 
you know we are all unique in our own way mm. so but i was just looking for a distinct way to reach out to people to call people's attention and you know to catch the audience and um, be different and the basic of this is just passing the message mm. in uh, a sweet way so Thank yeah you. so debbie you were talking telling us about the project that you have and uh, like i said it's in pidgin english but yeah. Could you give us a, just a tip, a tiny tip about how does it sound to speak like that? Come on, give ah, us. Ah, okay. Hello, my people. I will not day, Mama and Papa. I hope say on a day. Okay, I did with Margaret, my personal person. So, thank you for watching us. I will see you later. <laughs> and that's Debbie. You know, we're gonna watch a clip from, from you know Debbie's hangout. It's fantastic, and I think you need to subscribe to it because it is encouraging. It makes life real, and she shares from her own experiences, like I choose to do as well. So I just want you to take time out to watch it. We're gonna look at that. But before then, Debbie, you've said so much about yourself, and you know, what's the dream for tomorrow? What's the dream for the future? What's your plan? Do you still plan to keep on volunteering? Let of course <laughs> i'm not gonna stop that now because learning is a continual process and i'm not there yet and i have to keep volunteering to get the in-depth of that learning there are so many um courses that comes you know along this volunteering process which if i um uh, if i want to pay for it's gonna cost a lot so it's just an opportunity to be volunteering and these are the um uh, benefits that we gain from yeah. it so i don't i'm not <laughs> intending to stop that for now because I, I i still have a lot to learn okay. so um i'm still volunteering with parents skills to go and in future i um have this dream of you know um building an empire for children wow yes that is fantastic. yes for children you know i have a lot of passion for children to see children smile you know so i don't mind going to, into fostering i don't mind going into adoption you know things like that i just want to uh have uh, a nation for children. Wow. You know what? A nation, an <laughs> empire. Actually, yes. I thought you were going to say something like, oh, having a, um, a, a nursery, but actually you've gone a step further. Yeah. A nation, an yeah. empire for children. Yeah. And that will require working with other practitioners, course, you know, yeah. working with uh, your organizations and charities. So. Yeah. And I believe it's going to happen because yes. if you put your mind to it, like we say, you work. can do it. Yes. Thank you so much. Do you have anything you'd like to say to anybody out there that might be listening to you right now any word of encouragement to parents like yourself or mm. to people yeah um the first thing i would like to say is do not let fear stop you fear is a big dream killer mm. uh those days where i used to be fearful i i would run into my shell and say what will people say people will laugh at me but anyway even if you do it what people say they will say so don't let that stop you do not let fear stop you and also i would like to say that if in life god has put um, some people around you that will guide that will encourage that will support you so just look and reach out for those people one of it that god has put uh to <laughs> support me is margaret from parent skills to go because I would say the truth, my life has definitely changed through uh, this volunteering. So if you have an opportunity like that, do not let it slip away. And whatever you find you are doing, even like I'm volunteering, do it with your heart because it definitely has a reward for it. Thank yeah. you, Debbie. So you've heard from Debbie. I don't want to say you've heard from the horse's mouth. <laughs> you've heard from Debbie herself. Debbie started out with us so many years ago. Well, not so many, but a few years ago. Yeah. And um, she started out a shy, timid, mm -hmm. didn't want to, but now she wants to. In fact, mm -hmm. she does so much right now. And um, you can look on the screen later to see some of the pictures where she's doing some storytelling mm -hmm. with the children. Um, you know, she's been, even when she was pregnant, that she was volunteering yeah. and I've seen her blossom I've seen her grow and I believe that things can happen for you too if you can just get the right people around yeah. you so I want to say thank you for listening to me stories today next time we'll come up with another fantastic mystery thank you for watching how 
often una de pray for una children. Every day, once in a week, once in a month, I be na once in a year, or una no even remember. Anyway, welcome to Debbie's Hangout. You are welcome today, my people. Thanks for coming back, and I will say I meet una well. Today we go to talk about something very important, and uh, prayer for our children. Then. Prayer. We know say prayer na communication to God, to Papa God with they up there. And as people, as children, as parents, we know say if our children they grow, if they never talk when they don't reach the age where they're supposed to talk, we go they concern as parents. Now so God they they concern. If we as parents know they talk to them individually or collectively. So my people today, I won't ask you that question again. How often do they pray for your children? Our children na gift from God, we remember. And we know say, they be our responsibility. As then they grow, we suppose they support them with everything they need. And prayer, no day exempted. 